Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 12 of Material Energy Hypercubed. Pahamar, are you here? Yes, I'm coming in from the basement. Oh, there you are. I've been doing some mining in the mining area, just a little bit. I have been plunking around in here. Oh, I also did a ton of quests between last episode and this one. Mostly focused around, like, the boring crafting stuff. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about yeah, some did. of the things yeah, I did. did. Yeah, I did, right? Check that out. What's up? Seven quests to hand in. Oh, eight now. Eight, nice, eight, I guess eight. you did one. Did I do eight or did you do one? Uh, I had to fix the Magma Crucible one because we still couldn't craft it after updating to the latest version of the pack. Sweet. Which, at the time of this recording, to clear up any confusion, is 103. Cool. So I had a little bit of fun. I want to talk about real quick what I did off camera. Mostly crafting related. I set up a little vanilla cactus farm, but using uh, Extra Utilities Transfer Nose to pick up any cactus that falls. So any items that fall in there get sucked into Potomar's Magnet. <laughs> so, yeah. It's off. The, it's off. Um, did the nether warp farm thing. Let's see. So what quest did we do? Um, I also set up um, an automated... Um, processing factory to get us some compressed cobble. I'm compressing us down to quadruple compressed, and I figured we could manually compress beyond that point because crafting machines are not super cheap. Um, so I'm using the cyclic assembler because it's very fast at crafting um, for just getting the first layer of compressed. And then in about the time it takes to make that first level of compressed cobble is how long it takes this crafter to make it using a double layer capacitor. And then from there, uh, you know, triple is obviously less common and then quadruple takes even longer to get. So there's a plenty of a long lag time between those last two. Um, my goal is to eventually get us some bedrockium if I can. I would love to find diamonds though. That's why I was hunting around in that mining area. I find emeralds though, so I want to hunt around. It looks like there's emeralds on the edges of the map. So I want to go check that out. Oh, cool. You gave us a little experience thing. That's a good call. Yeah, I figured, uh, so while we were talking about diamonds and, and stuff, I got thinking it might be nice if we enchanted our gear, um, specifically because I was dealing with a very nasty zombie who had some very nice enchanted gear. So I figured, oh, why don't we big... start saving our experience rather than just constantly dying and losing it? And That's fair. looking through our AE system, I've already done it, but remember the crest rewards where we got the jukeboxes? Um, sure. Okay. Going back, just to remind you, we, yep. uh, I think it was me who actually, over the course of questing, I managed to get two jukeboxes from my reward bags. Jukeboxes oh. break down into carbon nanotubes. Oh, nice. Carbon nanotubes. Well, I think jukeboxes have diamonds in them, don't they? Exactly, and that's why. So you might be able to toss it into, yeah, a sawmill, you can get the diamond from it. Actually, I used the chemical decomposer to get nanotubes. Wow, I'm proud of you. And I used the chemical synthesizer to get diamonds out of it, so I managed to get two more diamonds. Now we have three diamonds. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I had a little bit of fun with mine chem too, by the way. Well, the reason we'll, we'll I did this, we'll yeah, we can talk about that in a sec, is because I want to make an enchanter. Oh, okay. Uh, like a vanilla enchanter? No, I heard when, uh, when I was looking at this, there was the vanilla enchanter, which I think everyone's familiar with. And then there's the auto enchantment table, which I'm familiar with just from Forgecraft. Um, right. But there's the Ender IO enchanter. Correct. Uh, you so need a book and quill to use that, though. So we need more feathers if you want to do that. Oh, okay. Well, I've already made the dark steel and everything. Cool. So I'm just warning you, you need feathers for that um, because you need book and quill. The only other problem, Pahamar, before you craft that is that we're mostly using Tinker's gear and you can't put vanilla enchants on Tinker's gear. I was thinking specifically for armor. Okay, that's cool. On account of how okay. much we die. That makes sense. So, you want to hand in some quests? Do I ever. All right, so alumite was easy. I just needed to get obsidian. I harvested some uh, aluminum from the plants we had and iron to get alumite ingots. So we can go ahead and claim that reward nice and easily. Where is that one? The big pink pickaxe, I think it is. On the left. Got it. Oh, to clear up, we now can do lava fabrication, but we had to actually... Um, use the Harkar questing mod ability to auto-complete a quest if it's uncompletable. Yeah, so that quest was broken and it wasn't recognizing our hard work, so. Uh, next up, Netherwart. Uh, 
easy enough. Once we found it, I was able to grow it using a watering can, so claiming more wood on that gives us a ton of nether wart and soul sand, which soul sand is not terribly hard, but also not terribly easy to get, so excited about a lot of that stuff. Blazing pyrothium, you found that downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just ran down and got some buckets and filled them up. So that was easy. Uh, what else do we got? Down in the bottom, Gintos. A task where it needs to have a player specific item. So Gintos, apparently if I die or you die, I can walk up to you with a filled Ginto and right click your corpse and it'll bring you back to life where you were. Eat. Yeah. So that was easy enough to craft. It's just a crafting item. It does require um, that specter stuff, um, ectoplasm, which you can turn into specter iron. And while we're talking about that, uh, the specter dimension, there's a specter key, and the tip says, holding the right mouse buttons will take me there. So I think it's probably pretty clear what you're supposed to do with that. Hmm. Uh, we might want to check out that specter dimension at some point. And on the topic of the specter dimension, there's the specter sword. So remember when you kill monsters, sometimes you wind up getting um, like little ghosts that come out of it and if you kill the mm -hmm. ghost you get the ectoplasm well if you kill them with the sword then um they will wind up the ghosts come out like 40 percent of the time instead of two percent which is the normal so killing them with that sword gets you more ghosts lamps of darkness just crafting the lapis lamp and then this one was the one that was actually hard um did we complete everything here it looks like we completed everything. I made cobalt for some reason, and I forget what the reason was. Maybe one of these things required cobalt? I forget. Yeah, I don't know what required cobalt. But I made cobalt, so I'm pretty excited for myself. Oh, you know what? I think cobalt is, like, something we have to do eventually, so I think I just made Nice. But we didn't find any, did we? Um, no, we found Ardite. Right. So I made Cobalt in a very interesting way. You know how I made Cobalt? Ha um, Mine Chem? Yes. But do you know where I got the Cobalt from for Mine Chem? Chemicals? Yes. Um, one of these things, uh, green cactus dye, decomposes into something that can decompose eventually into cobalt. So you can actually get cobalt from cactus. That's something I would not have guessed. Uh, same for me. So I just got a bunch of lamps. I'm opening my reward bags, by the way. I got mini-me of Skyzim and Corralis. I got spawn spider creeps. Transfer nodes, redstone, spawn thundercats, a brass hatchet, sounds cool, sand. I got an ender IO thingy for sand. And I got a mini me of watchful, slowpoke, Captain Nana, T Fox, Gideon Seymour, and Bot Tog. Cool. So you got the so you got Feed the Beast pack. Yeah, sounds like it. All the FTB guys. So I got a sand dimension. Um, I don't know what's in there, what that's all about, but I got one. Right, should I open mine? Sure, yeah, go for it. Uh, mini Mies of Biffa, Generic B, and Exuma? Oh, you know what else? I did do one more quest. Spider Creeps. Rain Man. That's a mini me of Rain Man 11. I got half a heart. Cool. 20 TNT and flint and steel. Go on. A slotted book by Parcel. Okay, that'll be interesting to read. Uh, 10 books, 10 oak bookcases, and 4 normal bookshelves. Sounds fun. A shank. Hey. 20 more miners explosives and 20 more death explosives. 20 graphite dust and 20 cyanite dust. I haven't quite looked yet, but I'm hoping we can do something with these emeralds that I'm finding down here. So I found a bunch of emeralds on one side of this area. I, I kind of want to go to the other side and see if I find more. 
I actually need to repair. Wow, well, I don't know why I hung on that one. Uh, repair my steel hammer, but I don't know what steel to use to repair it here. Ah, uh, beats me. I started digging over this way because I think... I'm guessing... I'm trying to, like, avoid all the monsters because this area isn't lit up down here anymore. So I kind of found more emeralds on this side, but my inventory was full, so I couldn't get them all. Ah, zombies! So, I have a very noobish question. Carry on. How do I use this XP shower? Uh, give it a redstone signal. And does it, how does it need to be connected to the tank? Like fluid ducts or? Uh, you can do that, I think, or just plug it right onto the tank. Just make sure the tank it's plugged into actually has um, experience in it. Yeah, see, there's a ton of emeralds and stuff down here, so that's cool. There's also just a decent amount of monsters. Ooh, there's a chest down here, Pahamar. Right next to some dense copper ore and some dense gold ore, which is nice. Should I check out what's in the chest? Yeah, why not? Give it a whirl. Oh, wow, there's dense redstone ore down here. Wow, where was this when we needed all the redstone? <laughs> oh, dense yellow right, too. This is a nice area. I'm kind of more excited about the jewels and diamonds and stuff, because I'm assuming that chest just has some, like, reward bags or something in it. All the loots. Oh, there's an Ender I.O. thingy in there. Or, not an Ender I.O. Ooh, vanilla mining. And 32 dense core. All right, I guess I'll leave the iron, because we have a ton of iron. And I got some reward bags, too. What can I leave behind? I don't need a few pieces of coal if I just got 32 dense coal. Dude, I got something called vanilla mining. Um, like a space? Yeah, like an ender IO thing. Or no, I keep calling it an ender IO thing because I'm. Yeah, I'm, that's but, why you know I know keep I mean. getting confused. No, I don't know what you I mean. Don't. Yeah, spatial IO. Spatial IO. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, I see why this isn't working. Well, we don't have any more wants for emeralds, then. All right, now I have to find my way back. See, I knew exploring the edges and the corners of this map would be a good thing. I just have to figure out how to get back from here. Oh, there's even more emerald ore down there. Nice. Yeah, we're not going to want for much of anything resource-wise right now. All right, I'm going to bring all these goodies back. Do you want to meet back? Uh, I'm going to come back to the observatory and then deposit all this stuff I got. And do you want to come back in a minute after we start loading up uh, these two new spatial IOs that I got? Um, don't we have three? We Yeah, you know what we do? We have that mirror dimension thing, too. I'm not sure what's in sand. I mean, I'm assuming it's sand, but then I'm also wondering if there's more to it than sand. Like, it's pretty obvious that it's probably sand that's in there, but... Sounds good. All right, we'll be back in a minute, guys. Oops, I don't want that. Okay, guys, we are back. And uh, while I hand in some ward bags, I think... Ooh, I got goose tapping it. Um, iron shrikens, some copper armor, some glowstone illuminators, another goods cabinet, and a bunch of wooden stuff. Um, I did craft, or try to craft the ender letter last episode, or between last episode and this, and that's why I left in my inventory so I'd remember, and then I forgot. Uh, I need you, Mr. Bahamara, to complete that quest with the cheat mode book thing, because... No, that's what Are you suggesting I cheat? I am. Okay. I'm suggesting that okay. heavily. Let's see, let me dump off some stuff, and I will show people how to do this. Oh yeah, the uh, XP tank drain thing is all set up now. Sweet. What I was just doing was I was setting up some pumpkins, because we need pumpkins for one of the quests. 
All, All right. right, are you in the um, mining area at the moment? No, I'm in the observatory. All right, I'm unloading that spatial IO. And I'm placing Miner's Delight in there. I'll put sand in there as well. Where did I put Flexion of Spaces in there? So that's good. I'm going to check out Vanilla Mining because that might be a place to find Diamond finally. Uh, you just loaded me into spatial IO. I told you I was doing that. What, did, what are you talking about? Could you could you unload me, please? Everything's dark. Yeah. I just told you I was loading up spatial. I, I wasn't even in. Even... Like I was. I was just looking into the room, like on the laboratory panels. Uh huh. I unloaded you. Did you get out? I'm not out. All right, then you're gonna have to teleport to me. Let's just try this. I wonder if logging back in will help. And I'm dead. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll come back in a minute. Don't. All right, guys, we're back. So, Pahamar, did you complete the Ender Letter quest thingy? No, because I got loaded into Spatial I.O. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I told you I was loading it, and then you're like, I'm just going to wander in there while Direwolf loads it up. So, Well, now I that. know how far in you need to be to be loaded into Spatial I.O. I would assume it's... The, isn't the border the ineffable glass? It is the glass. Okay. So you didn't know that already, or? Well, I know it now. All right, well, so well, sir, in order to... Know it now. Hey, let, let me do the explaining. Okay, explain. Oh, I found diamonds. D dude, there's diamonds right at the door. Yeah, I know, I found them. No, you, you walk in and you look up and there's a diamond ore block. Good. I don't look up. Especially for diamonds. Okay, well, you go have fun in there, and I'll fix this for me. So, okay. so, in order to load up the HQM ability to complete a quest or receive a quest, you need to be op. Also, you're uh, sounding very bad right now on TeamSpeak. I don't know why. Robot. Very robot. You're getting robot -y too. I am not funny. How about we come back in a minute? We'll switch to it for one. Yes. Okay, we're back, guys. Oh, that's much better. I can hear you again. Yay. Okay. Yay. So to go back to it, uh, in order to auto uh, to properly complete a quest if it's bugged, you need to be op. Correct. Then you need to type op. in HQM space edit, and you will get the op edition of the quest book. So then you go into the chapters and whatnot. So in this case, it's Lost in Space. So it's hard to see the text here, so I'll go into another chapter, Lost in Time. So you'll see in the bottom right, it says hold shift and click on quests to automatically complete them or reset their progress. So go back to Lost in Space, and the quest that uh, Direwolf's having problems with is Ender Parcels, I think? Yeah. So you tried to create a... So let's see. So come back here. I shift click it. Now it's completed. And now, because I have the super powerful book that could end the series right now, I'm going to throw it out. Yeah, get rid of the get rid of the super powerful book that could end the series. That sounds like a bad thing for Pahamar to have. And I've de-opted myself. So now I'm just regular, normal, boring Pahamar. Kind of feel like that's always who you are, but okay. I can op myself and kick you. I don't think, well, you probably can kick me without opping yourself, to be fair. Don't, though, because I'm having a lot of fun getting shot at by exploding skeleton arrows. I figured you would. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so this place isn't so bad, aside from the fact that you know how Miner's Delight was, like, somewhat lit up with glowstone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one, not so much. This one's like, it's dark and terrifying everywhere you go. I don't think I can repair this hammer. What is it? It's a steel hammer. Yeah, that might be a problem. And it looks like the only things we have for steel are dark steel, and mm -hmm. there's electrical steel. I don't know if either of those are a dictionary with regular steel. Oh, steel ingot. Steel might be have to be made in a tinker's smeltery. Oh, uh, looks like I can make it with an induction smelter with iron powder and coal powder. 
Yes, that should be an option. Do we have a induction smelter? I want to say no. I'm escaping from the terribleness that is this area. But I got diamonds. Nice. And I want to um, make myself some more lappies. And put it on my uh, pickaxe here. This iron pickaxe that I made really early on has come in quite handy. I don't think I actually made it though. I think it came from a plus award, didn't it? Something like that. So I've got Fortune 2 on it now. That's cool. You are so full of arrows, it's not even funny. Yeah, then they all exploded. Oh, actually, so it is the, a little um, funny. End of roll quest, right? Or the end of thingy? That got me a good reward bag with 20 redstone. All right, I'm going to go hunt for a few more diamonds, and now that we have access to diamonds, we can do lots more cool stuff. Woot woot. Yeah, dude, no kidding. Oh, I have Grand Master, the quartz longsword that I have. All right, so I'm just going to be doing a bit of boring mining. Do you want to come back, or? Sounds good. I don't have anything exciting. Okay. Maybe we'll check out that mirror dimension in a minute. Sounds good. Okay, back in a few, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, Palomar, I did pretty good on diamonds, especially with my now um, Fortune 2 pick. I got fortune 31 two? diamonds. Yeah. Fortune 2, not 42. All right. So I think we decided we're going to check out that reflection of space thing. Okay, hold on. There's one more diamond I want to get. I have eight diamonds myself now. Ooh, nine. Nice. Rolling yeah, this, um, diamond. this Damascus steel armor is really nice. I'm doing much better against some. things. I don't it's think not I have armor right now. I think it's just bronze and iron. Is that it? Yeah, can you Ron's enchant Damascus armor? armor? Yeah. Nice. Sure can. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some enchants on it myself. Yeah, I feel like we are going to need to do some enchanting of our armor. So we might just, now that we have like an easier source of diamonds, we may end up just having to make uh, an auto enchanter for now. Yeah. Where is the exit? Like I'm in the f one corner of the room. Um, I don't know. It's your job not to get lost, not mine. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Don't die, pie noob. Oh, I missed the ectoplasm. Darn. No! Oh, Pahamar. All right, guys, we'll come back once Pahamar has his corpse, because I want to explore that reflection of space before we wrap up the episode here. Yeah, and I appreciate you not just abandoning me. Yeah, I'll, I'll come find your corpse with you. Yay. Yay. Okay. Back in a minute, guys. All right, Dyer. Thanks for helping me get my stuff. No problem, buddy. Let's load up Reflection of Space. Are you out of the spatial I.O.? I am out of the space. Oh, yes, I'm out of the spatial I.O. Okay, because I asked this before, and you were. I am safely away. Okay. I want to check out Reflection of Space. Do you think... Whoa, that's weird. It's got the... Yeah. Texture not found. Well, that is that is weird. Void stone. Okay, then. I don't know what's going on. That's odd, but okay, hold on. I'm going to go drop my stuff. Yeah. Why did you break the map, Ahamar? I did no such thing. However, I am going to bring some cobble in case we need to pillar up. 
Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine this void stone in the shape of a stairwell. That's a glass roof. This is... Looks like the reflection pool area, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's got mobs in it. Well, that's terrifying. I'm wondering if this broken texture thing is meant to be this way, or... I think it is. It could be. It's supposed to be void stone, and that sounds familiar. I think I've seen that in Chisel before, so I don't know if it is supposed to be like that. So I'm using dum -dum -dum -dum. the water to try and push the mobs down. Yeah. How many mobs are in there? Um, several. Several like three or several like thousand? Uh, I'm going to say more than ten. Okay. Okay, so I've got us a way out of here. Good. Good. That we can just climb up. I mean, I would imagine there's something good in there, right? There was a quest book about this thing, I think. Um, one of the quests we handed in got us this. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Which quest got us this thing? I don't know. There's a chest here, though. Well, that sounds cool. ME2. With a compass, a clock, a book called ME2, and a greater reward bag. Sweet. Let's see what the book says. Spatial corruptions found, scanning for errors, states reverted, please realign spatial sectors, parsing for all recursions, material energy loaded, scanning. Maybe we've done this before. Sounds familiar. Ooh, okay, in my greater reward bag, I found an ender tank energy unit, uh, sorry, ender tank energy input, Ender tank valve, 20 ender tank, ender tank frames, and 4 ender tank glass. Sweet. I'm lighting up the area down here so that we can potentially explore without too much problem, especially if we kill some of the monsters that are in here. There is a chest down here. I see that. I'm going to see if I can get to it without dying. I got Lumen's Void Nexus and a Greater Ruler Bag. I think this Void Nexus thing is actually a quest that we have to do. I want to get as much of this here. ineffable glass as possible. Okay, you have fun with that. I'm going to check because I'm pretty sure we just completed a quest. Remember how helpful this stuff was in the Nether Sphere? Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's where we got reflection space from. Um, I need to find my own unifier and place it in the system core. Oh, we're going to get an inclusion chamber when we complete this quest that we just got, Lumion's Void Nexus. Sweet. And that opened up an Exomite quest, Fallen Knights that we have to kill, some kind of sapling, another kind of ore, dark steel. You crafted a bunch of dark steel, right? I crafted four, I think. Oh, there's the quest for inscriber presses. Sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah. For, a second, I, for a second, I thought it was like Mistcraft. I'm like, there's Mistcraft too? No. Oh. oh, we have to make a Torturino. Have you seen the recipe for the Torturino? Nope. Yeah, you should look up the recipe for the Torturino. Hold on, I'm... 
Trying not to fall into the pit of mobs. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. Expensive? Yeah, one way to put it. I've almost got as much as I feel safe getting. think we've got everything there is to get in this area, unless there's hidden secret stuff that we can check out, you know, later or something. But I think the main purpose of this area is done. I would agree. I can't imagine there's much more. I just want to get this, yeah, this ineffable glass. Like I'm sure there's some, like, hidden secret type stuff. But. Okay, okay. there we go. There so I'm on my way out. So the Torturino apparently makes uh, tile entities tick faster. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, but it's expensive to make. Well, let's get out of this place. So we still have like two more spatial IO. I, I bet you actually now with that we have three. Yeah, we have the inclusion chamber now. We have lots of IOs to explore. I got an Oroclase Scythe. It's got luck on it, fortune and looting. That's cool. And, uh, ooh, I got 64 gold, tin, and copper gears. That is a great reward. I'll take that any day. So, yeah, now we have an inclusion chamber to explore. I think we're going to need a chest of, like, I'm going to run out of memory about how much we have to explore still. I think I'm going to bring a chest down there and put any IOs that we haven't explored so far in a chest. Just Swap so out the spatial this. IOs into this room? Like, it's just plugged into the AE system, right? Yeah, no, I just want to remember what we haven't explored yet. So, vanilla mining, sand, we haven't been to, and... Ooh, you might like this. Been everywhere else. Inclusion chamber. In my greater card. bag, I got 60 Flux Pearls and 10 Quantum Entangled Singularities. Nice. So... We kind of already had an Inclusion Chamber. That's interesting. Oh, wait. This is in Inclusion Chamber to the fourth power. So this is a different Inclusion Chamber. Okay. Do you want to check out the inclusion chamber? Let's save it for next time. I think we're pa well past the wrapping up point. We are. Can we can we just do a little teaser? Yeah, let's tease. Okay. So inclusion chamber four, go in there. This can go away, and it should be ready to check out. And then next episode, we'll go explore whatever this place is. There's lots more void blocks. Oh, goodness. Oh, this looks like... Oh, yeah, this is... Um, I see. This is like the inverse of, I gotcha. Maybe you're right. Maybe those void blocks were intended to be voidy. Eep, eep, eep. Run, potty noob. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a dead Pahamar. Ooh, slain by a fallen knight. Come here, fallen knight. Come on, bring it on. All right, maybe don't bring it on. <laughs> I don't want you to bring it on anymore. <laughs> He, he hurts a lot. Yeah, he does. Hold on, I'll 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 get him, but I just need to re refill my health. All right, I think that's a wrapping up point. I'll help Pahamar get his stuff back. Fallen Knights are a quest, by the way, so that's cool. They certainly should be. Wow. Yeah, we need to kill ten of them. I feel like that's not easy. Well, you have fun with that one. <laughs> All right, so we'll come back next episode, guys, and explore this uh, inverted inclusion chamber. Is I guess basically the best thing we can call it. And for now, Direwolf and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. You ready, Pahamar? Take it easy. Yes, please. I got myself, haha. -ha. Right, run, 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 run.